in game three. It was Rodman who stopped him. And he hits the hook over Longley here. Malone over Longley. He opens by hitting his first three. A little lay-in, a hook, and a baseline jumper. Utah leads it by three. Jordan. Pump fake, double pump, and a miss. But somehow he comes up with it. Again, they're all over the offensive glass. And Pippen converts his second three. Right to Michael. Around Hornacek with the scoop. Isley given room behind Malone's screen. And Utah takes a 19-18 lead. Bob, that's the split action that I was talking about. Malone stayed in the post. They run the split. That's a staple of their offense. They had gotten away from it because Malone was stepping out on the floor looking to score. Pippen. His third three-pointer of this first quarter. Utah loses it. And naturally, it's Pippen in the vicinity of the ball. A pull-up three. He's got four of them. Chicago left Russell alone, and he converted the three. Here's Pippen feeling it and banking it home. But Steve Kerr continues to search for his shooting touch. Stockton on the move. Banks it in, and Utah takes the lead. Suddenly, Stockton asserting himself here. The weak side, let him catch and isolate and look for the quick shot. Who coach for Michael against Russell. Up under and two to end the half as only he can. See, right now, Rodman has baited him out into that high post area. He must get down in low and not look for the jump shot. Russell from Isley over Kuko. Got it. That's a huge shot. It's a two-point bucket. He was just inside. Ten boards for him. Burrell from Rod. Count the bucket and bring him to the line. Before they brought him back, plus Minnesota and the Spurs now playing in the finals. Howard Isley makes them both. Pippen looked for a quick tip for one. to six. Boy, how you end quarters in the NBA is so important. Michael ended the half by beating the buzzer with an up and under move that snapped the tie and gave Chicago a two-point lead at intermission. Big three just before the end of the third quarter now by Pippen. Isley, can he answer? Yes, he can. He's up for three right now, and they're all from outside. I thought he had a direct line to the post, but he went and set the pick and roll screen. Michael, ready to work. Got it. Remember, he was able to rest the entire fourth quarter of game three. That Carl Malone is going to say, Jerry Sloan, get me back in the game. We cannot lose this game. Stockton bounces to Carr. Open and hits. Stockton with a good pass to Anderson, and this could be a three-point play. Now that's leadership of John Stockton. Come into the game, settle your team down, make them take good shots, make them execute, and sustain your concentration. Stay within what you do. This is Utah. Backdoor cuts. This is what we do. This is who we are. We're going to win this game or lose this game staying in the character of the Utah Jazz. See, Isaiah, they're actually running a set play that's an adjustment. Utah is running that screen roll high to the left side to try to get Malone to step back and get a cutter on the weak side. It's going to be tougher to do with Harper. Anderson from Malone lays it in after Harper's fourth foul. Gave Utah the ball on the side, and it's a one-point game with 5.25 remaining. And Stockton takes the rebound away from him. celebration now. you got to get back and dig in. It's a five-minute game. Your season's on the line. Michael gets the lead back for Chicago. A 
Again, they can tie. He'll take the lead with a three. It's one to set to the basket, and it's a brand new game with 3.15 left. And that was because of Carl Malone sealed Dennis Rodman, ran the lane. But don't be surprised if Dennis Rodman steps up to the line and knocks these free throws down because that's the kind of guy that he is. Under pressure, he loves the pressure and he loves the, this time of the game. And it wouldn't surprise if he walked up there and made one of them. Well, the gods were with him on that. You'd think he was in Las Vegas with that bounce. I thought that's only when he was in Utah that he went to Vegas. What a bounce he got there. He rolls the dice again and makes them both. Anderson, who's done a good job defensively on Jordan. Michael tests him again and this time gets the hoop. Again, a one-point game. Jordan, Iverson leaning on him. Michael spins and scores. Russell's in for Morris. Utah trails by four. Knocked away from him, but it comes to Hornacek, who hits. It's a two-pointer. Jordan brings it into Pippen and back to Michael. Jordan with Russell on it. Leans in baseline and misses. Loose ball, crucial loose ball. Picked up by Stockton, and there's a foul. It's on Malone, his third. You know, Bob, so much is said about Dennis Rodman, a lot of the things that occur when he's not playing basketball. And I know, Isaiah, you played with him. But look at the will that this man has to go to this ball. He just wants it a little bit more than everybody else right now. They call it on Malone for pulling him down. Now Rodman, with two a moment ago, hits another one. Off the court, his tired freak show continues, but on the court, he brings unique talents, tremendous energy and heart. And if they win the third row, he's been a huge part of all of it. Malone screens for Stockton, John to the basket off the baseline, misses the reverse, loose ball, knocked around, and picked up by Harper. Here comes Kukos, knocked away from him. Hugh Evans hands the ball to Brian Russell. Russell into Stockton. Harper on him. The long three is no good. Malone grabs it. Russell has a good look at it. Can't hit. Tipped around. Michael's got it. Chicago may be 48 hours away from a crack at wrapping up its sixth championship on its home floor. Here comes Russell. Utah has only a 20-second timeout remaining. Malone has to shoot the three. And actually, his foot is on the line, so it becomes a two-pointer, which only cuts the lead to five. And Stockton fouls Jordan. And now they just play out the final seconds. Hits a three at the buzzer. It counts. And Chicago wins it by four.